Hello everyone, this is a small tutorial for those who have difficulties installing mods in Automobile Lister 2. Basically, of course, that's not any form of witchcraft, but you definitely can get the folder structure wrong. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how it works. I will do this by using two examples. First, we're gonna install a custom AI file and second, we're gonna install some liveries. So here I am on race department, my preferred source for AMS2 mods. I now go to the download section, then to AMS2 MISC, and then I'm going to download my custom AI file It doesn't matter where you save the zip file, for show here I have created a folder on my desktop. Now, unpack the file with the program of your choice and then you'll have this XML file. Here it is. And now, where do we put it? That is quite simple. The whole thing essentially is just a copy paste action. So over here, I am in my Steam games directory. So let's pick Automobile Lister 2. Then let's go into the user data folder and then the custom AI drivers folder. Here now you can see all the custom AI or XML files that I currently have installed. Now just copy the unzipped custom AI slash XML file into this folder. Here I am asked if I want to replace my existing file, uh, which of course I do not do. That's it. But now, how does the whole thing look and work for liveries? To install liveries is a bit more complicated, but it's definitely not rocket science. Let's go back to race department, go to AMS2 skins, and let's download Chrissy's FUS8 Gen 3 car 2000 liveries. Pick a folder, save it on your system. That's gonna take a second now, so that's the chance for me to say you should do a backup if you're not sure what you're doing, of course, of the original files. So here's the file, I'm going to unpack it. And there's, yeah, one specialty here. We do have two folders inside the zip, namely Automobilista 2 and Automobilista 2 Beta. The Beta folder is for those who are participating in the beta program of Automobilista 2. So what are we going to do now? As you can see, Chrissy has named this folder Automobilista 2, like the one on the right. And what's more important is that Chrissy respected the underlying folder structure of Automobilista 2. The substructure is identical to the one of your game directory. So the easiest way now for you is to pick the Automobilista 2 folder of Chrissy and drag it over the common folder on the right. So now what happens is that the system asks you to replace the existing files and this is exactly what you want. So click yes and you're done. So now the system's going to replace all existing files and of course also will add all new files in your game folder. So let's have a look into the user data folder, custom AI drivers. We got FUSA Gen 3 from Chrissy on the left and it's also there on the right. Cool, same file, same date, Let's take a look at the liveries, vehicles, textures, custom liveries, overrides, and here we are with the four card Reynard cars. Let's compare. 
and where the four cards on the right. Here we go, one, two, three, four. Let's take a look into the details. That looks good. That's also identical. So you actually can do this on the global scale, so to say. That is picking the whole mod folder and pulling it over into your game folder. Of course, respecting the folder structure or you could do it on a more detailed level when, for example, you just want to replace single files or one subfolder or whatever. For example, if you just want to take this preview file, you can drag it over to the right side or one level higher. That would also be correct. I'm not going to do it because I've got it already. The principle and the magic is respect the folder structure. As long as they are identical, you can't go wrong. A good modder will always respect the folder structure of your game folder to make it easier for you. If, on the other hand, someone does not respect the actual folder structure, but let's say puts in his zip file only the overrides folder, then of course you will have to move on the right side in your game folder, one level above the actual overrides folder, namely in this case custom liveries, and then you will just want to drag the mod overrides folder over your custom liveries folder and only the relevant files will be replaced or added. The whole modding so far is just a copy paste action. There are also let's call them third party mods, but this actually would be something for a future video. So to finish this off, you're now going to see the actual results of the work that I've just done in this tutorial. If you've done everything correctly, your game should look like this. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Until the next one. Bye bye.